Hey, Todd here. I've been dealing with uh, some suction cup issues, and I've been using this little mount here. I couldn't tell you where I got it, when I got it. It probably came with some kit or something. And it's worked fairly decent with the action camera, with the GoPro, but it has had a few issues lately where it's falling off the car. And I really can't have that anymore. I think it works really good if I put it on the inside, working off the windshield on the inside. But I think once the car gets going and you get some wind resistance and it just is, it's too much for this thing and it just pops it off. So I figured it was time for an upgrade. So I ordered the newer, it's a six inch um, camera suction mount. And it comes with, um, it's got a nice little protective plastic thing that's on it right there. And it's got a, a three a quarter to three eighths to quarter adapter in there. So you can definitely mount something large on there, three eighths. And it comes with its own little magic arm that um, just screws right on here. Oop, put it on right. What the heck? Well, that didn't work very good. There we go. Get this thing threaded back in there. So you just mount this guy right on here, the three eighths mount, a quarter inch, I mean, quarter 20. Then you've got this little magic arm and it comes with its little action cam mount that you've seen a ton of these with the GoPro with it in a female three eighths thread and a quarter thread as well, female, which you can mount into here to mount other devices onto this thing. And it's got a mount on this side, mount on this side. And the top is uh, rotates. You can rotate the top thing. Once you've got something mounted on here, you can, and it's got all the degrees on how far you're rotating on there, which is nice. I don't know if I would need that, but uh, it's nice to have it just in case. And yeah, it says it can hold up to 11 pounds, up to 50 miles an hour in, good weather. And so it's, if it's pouring out, I don't know, probably wouldn't want to do that if it's pouring out, but uh, yeah, up to 11 pounds. I'm not sure that I want to put my R5 or my 5D Mark IV on there. I would probably put my 5D Mark IV on there first, just if that one went down, I'd be okay with, wouldn't be okay with it, but it, I wouldn't be totally mad. But uh, so what I think I'm going to do is there's um, off my Pavo tube, the small little eight inch or one foot Pavo tube, they have this little wristband thing, but it's got this little thread uh, adapter or screw that I was thinking I would put on the side of this, mount it on the side, screw this guy in here, and then get some sort of carabiner and probably a rope, I don't want to use wire because I don't want to rub it up against my car, a rope and then tie this up to the roof rack on the top of the Suburban. That way, if this does come off, falls off, it's going to have a safety chain. So it'll hold on there. And using the rope, I think will be nice because then it won't rub up against the car. This seems a little bit flimsy. So I'm going to look at, look at the hardware store to find something a little bit better, stronger, than this setup right here. Cause if I had 11 pounds on there and it started flipping around, I, I don't know. I, uh, that would make me a little nervous as well. So before I start shooting anything and trying this guy out, I definitely want to get some sort of safety, safety chain on there to make sure this thing doesn't fall off. Cause I'd hate to lose it after just getting it and having it get ruined. Yeah, and it came like first thing in the morning. I ordered it last night, got it first thing in this, this morning before I even left to come to the studio here. So that was kind of cool. But anyway, got to go to the hardware store and see what I can rig up. Okay, I think I found what I'm looking for. I've got a couple carabiners here, or interlocking spring snap things. And these ones are coated, so they're not, they're a little rubbery, so I figured that's not gonna scratch the car at all. I've got my eye here, just quarter inch. We'll see if this fits now. It should. Oh, we want the nut on there, though. 
keep that on there. And then this should screw right in here. And it does nicely. And then we'll just tighten that down so I know that's on there good. I'm gonna take this guy. Oh, look at that. It's got a little something in here. I didn't realize, didn't see that at the time. Hmm. Well, well, for now, it's going to clamp on like that anyway. I wanted it to go down there. But, oh well. Well, we need to fix that. I need to adjust that somehow. So, we'll get back to that. Anyway, I got this nice strap here and this little clamp to make this thing adjustable. So, go through like that, I think, get it to go through. Yeah, so now that'll be adjustable on that end. So I was able to pop that little guy off of there. So now it's gonna be doing just what I want it to do, which is hook onto here, like so, and then hook onto here so it's super quick. And that will go up into there. This will go like that. And I've got a good connection now. I've got a spare one of these, but we should be good. That'll hold us nice. So there we go, all put together. Got my little clamp here, adjustable. I spent, I don't know, 25 bucks to get this. It was almost half of what I spent to get this. Little guy was $49. Well, I need to tighten that nut up yet to make sure this stays on there nice and tight. But uh, yeah, I feel way more comfortable now with this being attached to the car somehow, whether I go through the window or up onto the, the uh, rails on the top of the burb. Um, yeah, I feel way more comfortable. Now I just got to hook it up and test it out, make sure it works, and then start shooting. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Okay, for the first setup we're going to try here, got my GoPro. I added the uh, Ulanzi little quick mount adapter, the bayonet mount, put that on there. Got that. And then you've got this little white line right here. And when you pump to get this thing on the car, you got to pump it till this white line disappears into here. So we're going to do that now and make sure we've got a little bit of rain out here. I already wiped off the car where I'm going to put this thing. I'm going to put it right here. And then we're going to go drive across a bridge here downtown Portland. Uh, but first off, we're going to just mount this guy on here. Make sure I get a good connection. Pump this. Okay, now that white line is totally gone and this goes in all the way. So we've got a really pretty solid uh, connection there. Now I'm gonna take my strap and I'm just gonna put it up over the top here of the car. Reach around. So I've got that connected like that. Then I'm just going to tighten it up. So now I've got a good nice little tight thing there and I'm just going to take this extra strap here, wrap it around like so. And just pull it through like that. And then I've got that hooked up like that. Then I got the magic arm on here. Turn the GoPro on. Dial it in. Lock it off. Yeah, make sure your strap doesn't get in front of the camera. Okay, that feels really solid. So, uh, 
Let's hit record. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. And let's go uh, drive around a little bit, see how that works. Now I'm gonna mount this guy on the windshield and see how that works. Again, we gotta pump that guy till the white line goes away. Just gonna put this like this. I'm gonna see how the reflections look. It is raining a little bit still, so gotta pump this guy. Got that. Now I'm gonna spin the GoPro around. Okay, that's kind of a cool view. Lock that off. Now, since I don't really have anything to uh, hook the strap onto, I'm just gonna open the door and let this go inside the door frame. Okay, so that's locked in there. And since it is rainy, gotta make sure I got my wipers turned off because I don't want this coming up and over the top. And now we'll take a look at that. But this thing is, it's really rock solid on there. I mean, it, I, I don't know, man, it's, it's on there good. So let's give this a try. I got it hooked down here a little bit lower, a lot lower actually, so I can pick up the, the wheel and see what that looks like. Just another little connection down here. It's good and tight. Got it going up into the side of the door and uh, feel comfortable about that. So we're gonna give this one a look-see. Got it connected to the window right here. Got it hooked up. And we're gonna go 55 miles an hour and make sure it holds on there real good. I switched to my small rig uh, magic arm on there for the last shot because I needed to get out just a little bit wider. It's a little bit longer, bigger magic arm. So I just have that connected on there right now. But, and the strap is on here inside the car. We're connected. Let's go 55 miles an hour. Last, all right, one last test. Got my ADD right there with the 24 to 105 on it and put it, mounted it on the window to make sure I had a really good seal and everything. Still have my strap, which I'll run inside the door. On the last test, uh, only got up to, what, 51 miles an hour, I think. Um, lots of traffic, so I wasn't able to get her up to 60. Um, wasn't on the freeway anyway, but uh, yeah, too much traffic. But we're gonna try this. Got this mounted on here, feel secure. Got the small rig magic arm on there. Just, it's a little beefier. So we're gonna go with that. And got this all pushed in right there. So we're solid. Now we'll give it a test. One last test, I've got the Osmo Pocket 3 hooked up on the inside of the window inside the car right now. Get a little shot of that right there, just like that. Seeing how this works inside looks like a pretty nice view. And I've got nobody behind me still. So just test, testing that out to see how that's gonna work. This looks like it's working really well. Now we just gotta get back to the studio and uh, check out all this footage. All right, that's enough testing of this thing. It works good. I'm glad I bought it. It's definitely gonna replace this little guy here. Um, I'm gonna keep this in the car though, in case I've got a couple things going with the GoPro and then the Osmo Pocket 3. I can have them both going. But anything outside the car, I'm going with this guy. I definitely, if I was gonna do any car to car shooting or something, the tilt to um, their rig, I would use that because then I could, you could put your Ronin on it and um, their float system 
looks amazing. I've never used it. Someday I want to use it, but uh, I really haven't had a car to car shoot that I need it for. But but anyway, this really works well. And, and their little um, magic arm is nice. I do like my uh, small rig magic arm as well, when I, especially when I put on the ADD on there. And now I've, I feel comfortable that I, I would put my, my uh, 5D Mark IV or my R5 on there and feel comfortable about that because this, this thing really sucks to the car really good. And just remember, you know, when you're, like it says, when you're pumping this thing onto the car and it's sucking down, you got to get this little white line so it ends up being down in here like that. And then you're, and then make sure it's on there really good. Give it a pull just to make sure. But, oh, and then when you want to take it off, there's these little things right here. You just pull that and it lets the suction come off and you're, you're good to go. It comes right off the car. And that little plastic thing that comes on here, I think is a good idea to keep it on here when you're not using it. So that way you don't get any nicks or cuts on these edges, which would make the, uh, the suction, you know, not good. So you wanna make sure you keep this nice and clean and un unmarked so you get a nice good suction on there. But anyway, great, great product. There's other ones out there. This is just the one I chose because it was a six inch diameter here. So I figured I could get a bigger camera on there and 11 pounds on there is good. And uh, I appreciate you watching as always. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I'm out.